By and large, most cyclists would have experienced many, many happy miles just cycling along before they get a problem with their bike that leaves them stranded at the side of the road, wondering how on earth they're gonna get home. But fear not though, with just a mini pump, an inner tube, and a multi-tool like this one, you can fix pretty much anything. So here is how to deal with the five most common ones. By far the most common mishap is a puncture. To fix it, you need to remove the affected wheel and then take one side of the tire off. Use a tire lever to lift off a section of the tire at a time and then remove the inner tube. Now before you insert a new tube, check the inside of the tire in case what's caused your puncture is still lodged inside the tire, waiting to puncture the next one. When you're sure it's clear, insert the new tube, having very slightly inflated it first, and then replace the tire inside the rim, carefully using your tire lever when it gets tight, just to lift that very last section on. Inflate it again, and you're good to go. Having your gears not working properly is really, really annoying, although you probably won't end up stranded at the side of the road. But rather than spoil the quality of your ride, it's probably just a quick fix that is needed. Now, if your gears aren't working properly at the back end for the rear mech, the rear derailleur, it's probably because the rear mech isn't sitting directly in line with the sprockets or the cogs. But that can be very easily remedied by this little grub here called the barrel adjuster. So to fine tune your rear mech using the barrel adjuster, just twist it clockwise to move the rear mech outwards or anti-clockwise to move the rear mech inwards. Now, you've got to be careful not to over adjust. It is very sensitive, so just use a quarter turn at a time and that should be absolutely fine. So to adjust the gears themselves, put the bike in the highest gear, so 53 times 11 on this bike, and then shift, try and shift the gears up one. If the rear mech doesn't move, give the barrel adjuster a little bit of a tweak until it does, and if it over adjusts, then tweak the barrel adjuster the other way. Now, if your gears aren't working at the front properly, so if your chain's coming off the outside or dropping off the little ring, what you need to do on the front mech here is look at these two limit adjuster screws. So if your chain's coming off the inside, you need to adjust the inner screw and to stop your chain being thrown off the outside of the chain ring, the one on the right hand side, the big ring, you need to adjust the screw just on the right hand side. If it's your brakes that aren't working though, well that just might ruin your ride, if not your month. Often though, it's just a case that the brake pads will have worn, meaning that when you pull the brake lever, it actually hits the handlebars before the pads can bite into the rim and actually do the job of slowing you down. To fix it, it's very simple. At the brake itself, you will in all likelihood find a little dial. Now as you twist it, it brings the pads back closer towards the rim, so that when you pull the brake lever again, it actually starts to work. Just remember though, that when you get home, you may need to actually change the pads themselves. So have a little look on them, and there's a line on there which is their wear limit. If it's gone past that, you will need to replace them. As much as we might try and avoid it, there are occasions when we might end up on the floor and off our bikes. And if you're really unlucky, you might end up with a wheel that's no longer straight and might not even pass through the frame or the brakes. Now, on a lot of occasions, this can actually be a total ride ender, but there is something on your multi-tool that could get you out of this situation. It's called a spoke key, and it allows you to adjust the tension in each spoke by turning this, which bizarrely is called a nipple. Simply to move the rim to the left of the bike, you'll need to tighten the spokes on the left side of the wheel, and to move it to the right, you'll tighten the ones on the right. On the roadside, you can use your brakes as a guide to get the wheel passably straight, making minor adjustments to the spoke tension before checking the effect it's had. Now, if the wheel is really bad, you could always jump on it and then loosen your brakes off before riding back, but it's not something we'd really advise. A broken chain can seem pretty catastrophic, and it's also very daunting to repair it. But it's actually not so bad. Now, 
you can use the chain tool part of your multi-tool to remove the damaged link and then rejoin the chain afterwards. Admittedly, it will leave you with a chain that is very slightly too short, but it is still likely to get you home. Now you see, chains are really very simple things. They're just a series of metal plates connected by pins. You get a wide section preceded by a narrow section and then repeated. So to fix the chain, you simply need to remove the damaged wide section and then the narrow section that comes before it. By pushing the pin out, although not all the way out, you need to leave one end wedged in an outer plate of chain so you can then push it all the way back in to rejoin it. Now, it is slightly more involved than this. This is very much the basic principle. So if you want to see a video specifically on this subject, then you can get through to one if you click just down there. And we have more detailed videos on all of these issues, which you can find in this handy playlist by clicking just up there. Yeah, and if you want to see more videos like this, well, why not subscribe to GCN? Because the videos like this every week for free every day of every week free and generally more than one click on the globe just click on the globe